Is our first I guess full day in the camper van and we are on Lake McGregor that's right behind me at this little um, freedom camping spot and you'll may notice that I'm wearing the exact same outfit I was in the last episode because we got here and it was dark and so we didn't get to get my suitcase out it's fine but we're just gonna go for a morning walk by the lake with that coffee there is a ton of people here this is the view of our campsite last night. <clears throat> Get a nice view of this little lake. It's called Lake McGregor. The other lake nearby is gorgeous too, to Lake uh, Pukaki. No, Tikapo. Tikapo. I keep it's, getting them mixed up. Honestly, so we were driving past it too late last night to get any footage of it. The bluest blue I've ever seen in my life. We have to go back today. I know it's like backtracking, but I want to go back and see it. All right, we can drive into the town today. Yes. For me, this is why we are making videos while we're here in New Zealand, because I'm looking around here, and I know we're going to be on this adventure for 50 more days, but I don't want to forget this like waking up and the leaves are changing and you got these giant mountains and the sun is rising and it's so perfect i just can't believe it are you crying right now shut up no i love you it's okay to cry all right this is day two of <clears throat> how many days are we in the rv 47 days holy crap day two of 47 in our camper van in new zealand and today we are going to meet up with jed and michelle our friends from America. Intentional Travelers. Yeah, Intentional Travelers is the name of their blog, and they do a lot of really cool things, but mostly they're just fun people to hang out with. So we're excited to go travel around with them this week. We really have no plans, which is very weird for us, because normally we know where we're gonna stay, where we're gonna be, and here in New Zealand, we have absolutely no plans, which is nice, and also I just don't know what to do with myself, other than vlog and talk to the camera. and she's like what does this little red dot mean so I, we think that that means that our uh, tank is full so I get to go dump the cassette toilet which is the first time I've ever actually dumped one of those I've taken them in and out just to play around with them so that sounds weird now that I'm yeah I'm no this is it was empty gross. I just wanted to see how the gross. cassette toilet worked gross uh, so basically I'm talking it through like I know what I'm talking about but I've watched the demo I've never actually done it Open this guy. All right, gotta kind of push the button. Yeah. Oh, I have gloves somewhere. In okay. the back, back compartment. Okay. I've always looked at people like whenever they have not necessarily cassette toilets, but I guess like composting toilets, and I have to take it out, and I'm like, man, I would never want to have to do that. All right, so pick, pick it up. I feel like I'm standing too close to this action. Um, I don't know what I just did there. This is so promising. You have the black thing inside closed, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, there you go. You have to close the toilet first. All right. Oh, it feels pretty full. It's pretty small. Yeah, it is. Alright, so this thing goes like so. And I just pick it up and then just let it fly, right? right. Let it rip. Okay, so I can leave now that you're gonna do that part. <laughs> you can film from that side, yeah. Ugh. So that was actually pretty easy. It wasn't bad at all. Did you put water in there and clean it out? Yeah. Do I need to? Put water in and then you pick it up and shake it. And then dump that. And then you spray in the cleaner stuff and add a little bit of water and then you're done. Shake it up. Let me see where I can find some of this. 
Oh, now that handle's been touched by your poop hands. Gotta clean that later. I think it's this. Oh yeah, that's it. No, no, no. Dump it and then add that and then add a little this bit more. Smell good? Yes. Okay. It's locked in. Yep. Well. Mission accomplished. Okay. High five. Get away from me, you <laughs> gross. You're so <laughs> gross. Definitely the best dump station view of all time though. All right, Heath got us all dumped. We actually had a hard time finding a dumpster, so we haven't been able to dump our trash yet. But wow. on the road, I guess it's kind of blown out. You can't see how pr pretty the lake is over there, but it's beautiful. Just take our word for it, it's gorgeous. Yeah, just take our word for it. We're honest people, like, don't worry about it. It's great. So we're meeting up with our friends Jed and Michelle, and they're there. Oh, Hi! Park next to them. <laughs> I am. This is so exciting, and look at this view. I love it. <laughs> What's up, dude? It's as big as Franklin. Uh, no, no. All right, we just got to Lake Pukaki, met up with our friends Jed and Michelle, and now we're gonna go. I don't know where are we going, Jed. We're going on a walk. Oh, riveting stuff, man. Yes. Yeah, mate. <laughs> this is terrible. I don't know what a New Zealand accent's like. I, I mean, I know what it sounds like, but I can't imitate it. But I did say mate, and I don't know if they say mate. No, they do say mate. They That's say a very mate. common thing. Oh, yeah, okay. mate is very common. Hi, Michelle. Hey. <laughs> Bye, Vince. We're trying to figure out a game plan. It's super windy and the threat of rain is looming over us. So we're talking about maybe going to cafe, hanging out, maybe walking around this um, town that's supposed to be nearby. And then we found a free campsite for tonight. Michelle but, found a free campsite. Yes, Michelle found a free campsite. I've done nothing there. Um, but we're looking at the weather, trying to figure out what the next couple days is gonna look like. And Tuesday, um, just a big old picture of a snowflake. And Heath and I are from Texas. Jed over here is from Hawaii. Michelle, I mean, you've lived in Oregon, so I feel like you should have the most experience. I don't like it. <laughs> she, hates, she hates the cold of the most, probably. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah, let's find some sun. That's yeah. what I think. I think we should chase the sun. This view, and it's free, which makes it a thousand times better. Look at that. We just made it to our campsite, which I cannot say the name of it, otherwise I would tell you where we are. But it has this amazing view of the mountain range behind us, so we're gonna cook and get some sleep, and tomorrow we're gonna go explore Mount Cook. tell your American audience sorry guys we are leaving America and now a full-time RV entrepreneur in New Zealand I already told my mom that <laughs> she said no 